Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. Welcome back to the channel. I've got some jaw-dropping information sending shockwaves through the Royal Family. Get ready for a dose in the midst of the festive season. We're talking about the recent Christmas celebration, and trust me, Meghan would be boiling in her blood after seeing the Royals enjoying the Sussexes when notably absent from the festivities. But stop right there before we disclose the juicy details. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Believe me, what's coming next is worth waiting for. So here's the scoop. Zara, Princess Eugene and a whole array of royals were spotted leaving Windsor Castle after indulging in a Christmas lunch hosted by none other than Charles. Now you might be wondering where were Harry and Meghan? Well, they were absent. The traditional meal, which typically takes place annually on the days before Christmas, is a rare occasion when all members of the monarch's extended family come together. A chance for the king to celebrate. Now let's talk about the guest list. Princess Anne's son, Peter Phillips, the Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, Eduardo and many other extended relative joined the King Charles for the festive feast. It's all round tables, turkey lunch and pulling crackers. But here's where it gets interesting. Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess, was reportedly among the guests at the Cozy Royal Party. The fact that Fergie was there speaks volumes. It's a subtle swipe at Meghan suggesting that Fergie, despite her divorce, is still considered a family member. Why is this significant? Well, while Fergie might have faced some scandals in the past, she never embarked on a sinister plot against the family. Meghan, on the other hand, seems to be on a mission to tear down the monarchy. Fergie dealt with their consequences with good humour, but Meghan and Harry are playing entirely different games. Fergie knows her place and never aimed to bring down the monarchy, unlike the Sussexes, who have revealed sensitive information. Now, with the Queen gone, Charles holds the key to... Whether Harry and Meghan could be accepted into the royal fold. And here's the kicker. Does the future king even want them back? The Sussexes might have played their cards, revealing names and stirring drama. But it looks like the royal family isn't eager to welcome them with open arms. In conclusion, the festive season might be all about joint celebration. But behind the palace doors, the royal drama continues. Meghan and Harry might be missing out on these perfect festive gatherings. Not perhaps that's just the way the family wants it. So what do you guys think about the news? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time for more royal news and analysis goodbye for now